Hi Hinsters, welcome back to the channel and if you're new, welcome to... So we have this sexy kitty catty new moon in Leo fast upon us, August 16th officially. Check out my video on new and full moons generally if you want. That's where I talk about in more detail what new moons are and the build-up and the aftermath of new moons. This one has a lot of the classic Top Cat Leo season vibes to it. It's a prime time for a party, it's the seeming pinnacle of the spiritual summer, but really also things are um, fastened and tight now or getting there and we are already turning towards the fine-tuning season but yeah I see beach parties or like basking in the light, chilling by the water, maybe a little riverside picnic, um, celebrating, commiserating and with Lilith in uh, Leo as well and with Juno just entering Leo at this time especially there's a lot of people gonna be like ha huh, freedom and um, we have things like dancing finding like a snazzy spot a snazzy wine bar and to start like going regularly to some sort of spot or to some space this is fixed energy this is like new intentions a new pattern a new cycle of something that you're gonna fix on quite a lot possibly for the next at least six months or the rest of the astrological year um and it's probably going to have some kind of fun theme to it or like childlike or youth-like theme or feeling to it. Look to where you have then Leo in your birth chart because Juno, as I said, will just be entering this Leo house of yours around this new moon. So this is about like fresh commitments. Juno is the committed goddess, but more likely renewals of commitments to something that is thematically pertaining to your Leo house. Venus is still retrograding as well here at this new moon and very much involved. So I think the sun will like be pressing a lot of affirmation and renewed confidence for lots of people to nip something in the bud. It's like yeah, I had a fun time with that guy, but like it's time to think about my own priorities or this is like being finally proud of your hair or holding your head higher or like higher once more or even some people feeling that now they really have been crowned with something. And I'm saying this is very typical Leo season stuff and I'm seeing a lot of people around me as well getting promotions and moving more into a space of that royal feline lushness. This, you know, the cat that gets the cream. This is, of course, a new moon. Uh, it's a sun moon Kazemi. I talk about that in my new moon full moons video. And so it's a great time to learn something about yourself as well, or something is soon to be revealed. But this thing more specifically is relating to wherever you have Leo in your chart. So you need to know where your Leo house is. This new moon makes also an exact square to Uranus in Taurus, which I kind of love because for those of us still struggling with something in that Leo house, Uranus offers this kick, something brand new, or maybe even pushes us out um, or pushes us out of nowhere um, and kind of shakes things up or maybe introduces something revolutionary in some sense or a new piece of information or a new formula that just kind of makes dealing with this issue in a Leo house easier. And the added zeal and excitement of a new moon in general makes us like all the more ready to embrace these shakeups. With a sextile also to the south node and Ceres, which are both in Libra at this time. This is a spiritual and hella easy time to cut something out for some people or to just quit something with like a head up, a uh, high sort of confidence or a self-assurance. This is a hot season that we're in, remember? And with the new moon making a trine 
to the North Node and Chiron in Aries, I'm loving and, and having this image of like um, dropping something or someone and just kind of going ahead with self-initiation, but also with pride and with a chasing of something that you know you can just fuck with. Like this is fixed fire, trining cardinal fire. This is like really amplified in this new moon. So this is like a queen. This is like the queen of wands in the tarot who just kind of knows this is the right move and isn't about to like entertain trifling fools basically. <laughs> so a lot of people are in this, in this vibe around the full, sorry, the new moon. But we do have a Pisces full moon coming up after, which is very interesting. And this is like anyway, deciding to protect yourself in some sense now as well. This could be sexually speaking, this could be literally speaking, because this is the season of the sun and protecting your skin. So the surface stuff, uh, especially if you're more sensitive or susceptible to the sun. Also, some people are part of like a band or a team or a circle and many members are leaving. Libo is it Libo? <laughs> Leo is a tribe season and yes many people are like leaving the tribe or the collective that you might be in and you have to be brave or you're about to initiate new people and in many ways you're about to protect have to protect other people new people and also many of us are about to conduct our own acts or like direct our own scenes in an upcoming new play or spiritual play or spiritual film of some sort. This this is a new moon of like, you know what, let me up my standards a bit as well. Let me expect something of the services I pay for, for example. There's a lot of deep understanding for what was done and why it was done. This is very Leo proud, quite mature, uh, bright energy but this is also mixed with a fiery feeling of like yeah but I'm not gonna take that kind of thing anymore fuck it kind of thing as well so <laughs> a fixed fire new moon is excellent for setting some kind of firm visionary initiation this is like the girl who deletes the dating apps not because she's like pulling out of the game or giving up but because she's finally got her ideal type down and she's like not settling uh, anymore and she's not entertaining again the triflers and she's perfectly like content with focusing on the other areas of her life until that standard is met or until that kind of golden egg leo season is very much for many people kind of either finding that golden egg or like polishing that golden stone kind of thing and it can have us also this new moon can have us getting bored with a certain diet uh, leo is fixed energy and with such energy there can be this frustrated desire to close or finish or overcome something so it's like keep at it you know i want to say that to some people just keep at it just stay brave or hold yourself up in some sense for some reason and uranus squaring this new moon could again help a lot of us uh, with this kind of square agitating power and help us quit something like sugar or achieve vegetarianism or commend ourselves for our progress with health and with eating or you know it's like a certain type of guy we've been entertaining, maybe in the dating scene or in serious relationships. Um, maybe you're still entertaining him, but you're like, my heart's in line now. Like I know what I am and what I am not desiring. This new moon can bring renewed self-respect and kind of brave maturities. Obviously with Lilith here, this can make some of us a bit mad and have that kind of off with her head. Uh, sort of energy because it's in Leo as well, Lilith, Lilith, and uh, or, or kind of this like, I want that golden egg, get me that golden egg, you know, in Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. That girl, what was her name? Was it Victoria Plum? I don't remember, but that girl who like demands the golden egg or the goose that lays the golden egg, it can be a bit like that, you know, kind of spoiled bratty vibes so watch out for that because new moons of course are amplifications of zeal and excitement and this freshness but you know it's not libra season yet and it's not even virgo season yet as i film so i feel a lot of people can still get away with a lot of things it's like you know like 
30, 40 year old even person driving a car as if they're like a boy racer down the street. It's kind of a bit cringe to watch, but like it's mixed with this summer vibe spiritually. And with Leo, there's often this virile or masculine kind of patting on the head, this forgiving sort of masculine energy with Venus retrograde as well. And so close to this new moon, there's a lot of certain realizations of our mingling in the past or in past patterns. And again, that's Leonite sort of self-forgiveness or that understanding kind of daddy type of energy to it. But yeah, a lot of people will feel older at heart and start following the right path or following their elders, their parents' directions even, or their bosses' directions, being really respectful. Um, dating as well and pleasure and sex are really highly uh, amplified <laughs> around this new moon. And it really is that sort of Miley Cyrus, I can buy myself flowers energy. Like you can go to a jazz bar yourself and enjoy yourself and you can talk to the bar boy and it's also your it's like your enjoyment can be very in and out and that's fine like there doesn't have to be anything soppy or deep about it leo's leo heavy people are great at having a grand old shallow time this is the cute lover in black shorts and shades with a like a big water gun just like there like primed for a good time but you know we choose in leo season we choose to play or not we choose to take something or someone seriously or not like leo season always has this cat energy of it's fine like do as you please suit yourself because it's like almost everyone now is perfectly capable of entertaining themselves or at least they are they are already occupied with something more um serious that they have to commit themselves to or um achieve and you know for me personally like I was on a date recently and it was so fun and delicious and everything. And then the, the, like the day after I realized kind of, oh yeah, he took me to all the places where him and his ex used to go. Uh, and he would talk a lot about his ex and kind of like, oh yeah, there's a bit of like me being something he had for him. And Leo season has a lot of this performing seal energy to it. This I'll be whatever character or role you want, so long as there's like uh, love flowing or the performance is pumping you know the show is going on but it's like not getting emotional about it at the same time you know or um mired i should say in the emotions um <clears throat> you know some of us are still kind of kicking around the shells or like the carcasses of things long gone like cancer season was the big water season that cardinal wash that took things away that were meant to be taken away for a lot of people. And obviously for some of us, there is delay and we still want to feel close to something or someone, or we want to animate things in Leo season. Leo season is like a big old um, <laughs> boisterous Labrador. It just wants that hug, just wants that cookie. But like, you know, some people abuse animals uh, for fun or out of boredom because they're sick in the head. Like some people treat others like rubbish because they have such little light in themselves. You know, Le what was very interesting about Leos is you find a lot of Leos wearing black actually. Uh, and Leo can be very much associated with like eclipse type energies and colors. And there can be a lot of like, like a shadow to Leo season and Leo energy. But yeah, it's like, treating people like rubbish and thinking nothing of it. Just imagine like the tyrant kind of kings and dictators uh, who can take actions and uh, obliterate or annihilate things and people and think nothing of it. This is also Leo. So this new moon does present for us, a lot of us in this moment to turn around and to turn our backs. I mean, there's retrograde energy very high as well. So lots of turning, but like turning our backs on um, unrequited love for some people or on like a one-sided good time for some people. Like, because you, you know, you too should be enjoying yourself, right? You too should feel like you are a significant part of the play or you have a role in the film. Like you too deserve deep, hot love, passion, right? 
um, or commendment. You deserve colors too. Like I have um, Calvin Harris's song, Colors, in my head now. He's a Leo. <laughs> and I think for a lot of people, it's like dry the tears and get on with it. Like remove yourself from the breadcrumbing, the breadcrumbers or the troubled tracks. And also I want to say remove yourself from people and things who still don't know what they want. It's okay, right, that people don't know what they want or are figuring things out, that's fine. But if you have figured out what you want, like try not to get meddled or mired too much like emotionally in the dynamics with those who don't know what they want. Um, because Leo season is very much, I'm not, I'm not here to uh, faff around, like I want, it's this or it's that <laughs> fixed energy. It's this or it's that. Like, tell me, tell me what you want. <laughs> so I want to say that to people as well. Um, remove yourself also from like the troubled tracks. Um, and yeah, like get to the soft sand, I guess the beautiful dunes. That's what I want to say to some people. Anyway, let me know where you have Leo and, um, let me know in the comments where you have Leo on your birth chart and also which house the moon rules for you. Take a look at that because something related to your moon ruled house may be about to be revealed to you around this new moon. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Love you very much. Take care. Bye bye.